Hello. Hey guys, this is uh, Nani here. I'm uh, just kind of updating you on my solar setup. It's been a while. I'm actually in a new home now, so it's been, you know, been kind of hectic or whatever else. But I uh, wanted to show you where I'm at with this thing. As you can see, that I've done a whole lot of improvements there. I made this whole table here. Well, me and my kids did. It's uh, got wheels on it, so you can see it's mobile. It can, you know, mobile as mobile can be. It's pretty heavy if you're pushing that big thing around or whatever. But uh, I got some batteries. They're not all the same. Like I was, like I, you know, of course we all need and want. Can't have everything like we want it to be. But anyway, I got those batteries, and that's kind of how I've got them. I've got them kind of run like this right now. Um, okay, this is the Chicago electric 5,000 watt continuous 10,000 watt surge power inverter. Um, it's got four. It's got four outlets right here on the side. That's all. That's all it's got. Um, I had it on. Anyways, uh, this is the charge controller that I've got for a wind turbine out there or whatever. Now that's not the best place to be putting it against wood and everything else. Of course it is grounded, but after the deck catches fire, it's probably not going to be too well. Anyway, I just wanted to show you what I've got and where I'm at with, with some of the stuff right now. But uh, anyway, since I've got the door open, I might as well go ahead and show you off the back of my deck here. I've got a pretty neat... Uh, it's a natural spring coming right off the back right there. And uh, if I had power or something like that, I could probably run, you know, a little pump down there, a little 12 volt pump. And pretty strong one, I guess that's a pretty good little hill. But if the power went out and you didn't have, you know, water, stuff like that, I could probably just run it up right from there. And that's pretty cool, actually. Anyways, this is the. Uh, wind turbine I've got right there it's 400 watt I believe and it like I said it's not in the best place or whatever it needs to be way up there I need to probably you know put it up on top of the house or something like that anyway I wanted to show you there's the antenna that I've got for the CB in there I'll show you it's working here in a second and another thing I was wanting to show you is my uh, antenna that I made right there to pick up digital channels I live here in Nashville Tennessee and there's probably like there's quite a bit, like 44 I think I can pick up. You can go on tvfool.com and a few other places and you can see what digital channels that you can get. And if you notice, I've got one. With this one right here, I pick up like 28 maybe. Uh, if you notice, there's one right there that I've got right there that's even bigger. And I pick up 44 with that one. And that's got a 70 inch in my living room. And down here, I've got a 60 inch. So, uh... Yeah, let me let me see if I can't turn the TV on for you real quick. The batteries aren't turned on. The bat I mean the batteries haven't been charged up, so I'm not gonna get much before it uh, starts making some noise or something for, for since it's not charged up on me. But uh, anyway, here it is. So and that's run off of the uh, power inverter, you know, and I've got the Wii and everything else hooked up right there. Uh, 60 inch. So see so there it goes. Let me turn it off. So the batteries aren't charged up at all right now. Whatever else I've been, we were down here messing around a while back. The power actually went out for a couple of days. Um, and this is my little room that I've got here. Surely that's my studio. I just got took all my stuff off. Um, but this is where we'd be if uh, the STHF happened. This is where we'd be. All right, it's HTI, whatever it is. I'm tired. Um, anyway, what do you think about my little get up pack? And here's a rechargeable batteries. Of course, you need to be recharging over there, but you need to have a lot of rechargeable batteries at your disposal. Uh, and then I got lights over here because if something happened, or whatever, I've got the lights going on. If you want to, can't have enough lights. You know, you need lights, candles. This is another little solar light that I've got right here with the little solar charger deal. This is a little 5 watt solar panel, you know, for bow outings and such. Um, here's another little feature that I had done right here to this thing. I forget what you call this right here. This runs directly off of, uh, you see the blue lead the deal here? This runs off one side here. And the other one is where? Uh, anyway, you get the point. I think it's the white one. No, that's the charge. That's the charge controller. I can't even remember. This light is glaring in my face, blaring in my face, or whatever. Anyway, uh, 
So this is what I did right here for the 12 volt system that you know that's without the without the power inverter. And what I've got hooked up to that is I as I made this little uh, as I made this little cigarette lighter right here. Turn this on. There's my CD. So the CD works. That's just pretty cool. So you can always contact people if you have an emergency and power's out and you can't get a hold of nobody. Tweezers. We got tweezers and guess what? They got a light on them. Ain't that cool? Okay, now right here we got this little tin set up, right? Little Star Wars tin. I got uh, battery, you know, testers, test my batteries, how much they uh, are charged up. I got a scanner. Um, BB gun. I got, you know, this is a little uh, little pin rod. In this case, I want to catch some fish down there in the uh, in the natural thing. Look at now. Look at what else a little feature I built on my little table right here. I got. It's pretty cool. You wouldn't even know so I wouldn't if I didn't show you. Check this out. Okay. Now look at that. I've got a little. I got a little storage compartment in there. Is that cool or what? So, okay, here we are, we're back again, I'm sorry that cut off me, uh, the camera did or whatever, I got a few other things I want to show you real quick before this thing cuts off so I can finish this video up for you, I just wanted to show you where I was at guys, uh, so what do you think about my little table there man, it's pretty cool huh, it's uh, got wheels on it, it's mobile, I kind of made the room down here on the bottom down here to where that I could put another little table in there maybe and then I could put another roll of batteries in there. I could take this out and I could probably put 12 batteries in there. You can see this one right here is bowed out. I probably need to get rid of the, these two are no good really. Just those three are halfway decent but I still need to get the same kind. Um, going back to show you, going back to show you this here that I've got. Let me go ahead and get this. Uh, well, that's just not going to work today. Anyway, I was trying to close that up, whatever. But anyway, I was going to show you how I did this thing here, and I got the 12 volt deals going on in here. Um, that runs to this fan. I mean, I got the fan hooked up down here to the batteries. I got a fan hooked up right here for you. I, I always have to have a fan, so I've got to have that. And this light, here's a 12 volt light. So 12 volt light runs down through up in here and kind of goes back up and, you know, back over in there. This is the charge controller for the wind turbine, like I was saying. Um, I don't know if I'm leaving anything else out. Uh, this, this power plug that right here, since I've got four, four up there, I was wanting to make another one, plug it in and run it down and uh, mount it down here on this side over here. Um, anyway, this is it, man. Uh, it's pretty cool, though. Me and my kids did this. We built this thing a while back, and uh, we painted it. I went and put those wheels on it or whatever else. So if I, you know, if I could, I could wheel it around, which is not really too practical because it's pretty heavy with all the batteries and all the stuff on it. But uh, anyway, there it is, guys. Whatever else, I hope you hope you like my little deal there. And if you have any tips or anything else, you can let me know about. Let me know. I was also wanting to get a meter for the uh, wind turbine, you know, the little needle meter, and maybe mount it up in here somewhere, or down, down there. Oh, this thing right here is such a pain. Hold on. I normally didn't have that hooked up like that. It was normally... There's a little keychain loop that fell, that fell off of there, and that's what was causing my problem. I just kind of snapped it on, and that was causing my problem right there. But anyways, uh, it's pretty cool the way I had done this uh, this little shelf. I got too much junk in there right now. I need to reorganize it. But anyway, that's it. And then this is my little light right here too. I guess it was did have power. Turn that on. I was actually going to have this and. Kind of mount it down here or something. Wasn't too sure. That's pretty cool because it's actually solar. And I guess that's about it, guys. Oh, so what do you think? 
I really don't need that Whistler down there no more, actually, either. I mean, it's pretty cool, like a little backup or something, but, you know, I'm not really having enough to... I don't. I only have five batteries, and the last one's not even plugged in. So, uh, anyway, that's it, man. And I got these, like I said, I got the rechargeable batteries. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, anyway, that's it, man. Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, I'll tune you in whenever I get a little further on with it. Thanks again.